Good evening everyone and welcome to another Mech Merlin stream. Tonight we'll be talking about group buys that are ending and starting for this upcoming 7 day time period. But as always, the most important question, what is Merlin drinking? And I have a treat for all of you. It's not my usual alcohol, nor is it my usual tea. But something I've kind of done before on stream, but we are going to make something. Here we go. We are going to make a cocktail of sorts. So let's turn on some music. Turn on some music. Uh, I was just really, really bored and wondering what to drink next. So I have a almost empty bottle of Heritage Distilling Brown Sugar Bourbon. If you've ever had this before, it's literally bourbon that tastes like brown sugar. Super sweet stuff, you know, and yeah, I've kind of indulged myself over the last few months. <laughs> and what I also have is some of my favorite apple juice. This is from my local grocery store, Simple Truth Organic Apple Juice, 100% apple juice. And I recently discovered that if you mix them together, mainly I'd say four parts apple juice. Yeah, I think four parts apple, apple juice should, should suffice four parts apple juice and the rest of it brown sugar bourbon you end up getting a drink that tastes like apple pie and I'm a big fan of apple pie so definitely something I will enjoy let's pour it in there we go liquid apple pie literally liquid apple pie yeah that's it it's all empty nothing left in there <laughs> mm, very good yeah I think I've had this bottle for quite a few months so finally good to get rid of it let's see who who is here anyway let's see I'm seeing a Zark Mr. Pivolito Mosaic Dev Ken Paula Hitman Choi Young Skyflake, Peter Poppin, Static Age, IP9932. Thanks for joining in, guys. I'm seeing a couple people follow just before the stream. I see a Zerdne, and Alex Nguyen has subscribed as well, and an XS Narwhal. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys so much. Oh, that definitely tastes like apple pie. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Well, let's see. Maybe I will actually have this drink last the entire stream. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so as as usual, oh yeah, I see that Kangfa triggered the exclamation point drink command. I'm calling this an apple pie cocktail. I'm sure there is a more generic name or a, a, a more specific name out there, but I don't know, I don't know. All right, um, what you guys are looking at right now is a board I built for my customer yesterday. This is the Iron 165. You will see another Iron 165 show up on, on stream, which will look exactly like this. You might not be even able to tell which one's which. It's because my own personal Iron 165 is in the exact same colorway, and I'm actually building it with Gateron Black inks as well. And I'm very glad that my customer chose to do this because I was able to really just play around with this board first. And this convinced me that Gateron Black Inks are definitely the way that I want to go. <laughs> so yeah, let's type on this board tonight. Okay, let's see. So the format of the show is I will be talking about all group buys that are ending for this next seven day time period. They can be key sets, keyboards, miscellaneous items, who knows what. Then followed by all group buys that are starting and of course, since there's a group buy that starts every week, every day, every hour, I'm not going to catch all of them. I will then ask the audience at the end of the stream, did I miss any? And more often than not, I've missed at least three. So we'll see how things go tonight. All right. With that being said, the first group buy that is ending today, let me pull up my snip, all my notes actually, is a JTK set. Here we go. JTK Assassin. 
or suited assassin if you guys remember this set this was originally called jtk john wick but due to copyright issues um they nicked the title and turned it to jtk suited assassin this one expires 719 that's tonight right yeah that's tonight you guys have probably a few more hours left of this um let's see base set retails for 85 bucks alphas are 22 no novelties are 30 and space bars are 10. let's just take a quick look right there it's alphas or actually that was the base set this is the alphas novelties i really like the 14 million entry key right there and of course you've got gold space bars for all your split key needs and you got black space bars each of these are 10. i see clean fill ones as over 100 for free shipping so basically if you buy any of these except for the the base and the space bar you can get free shipping <laughs> Very cool. But yeah, you guys have probably the next four, four to five hours in order to get in on this. But 85 bucks is not a good deal. I mean, it's, it's, it's a really good deal. This, this is a triple shot key set. Keep that in mind. Triple shot, this means this is all three different plastics. So these will not wear over time. Well, they will wear over time, but it'll probably take your grandkids to completely wear them out. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see what's next what is the next set actually it's not a key set that is the only key set i am aware of that is ending let's see the next one on our list is going to be a keyboard here we go this is the Idobao ID87 TKL PCB and it's hot swappable and it retails for 168 bucks plus shipping. Um, if you guys caught my build a few weeks ago, I built an, an ID80 integrated plate. This looks very similar to it. Very similar design, integrated plate, all that. So yeah, there's, there'll be no secret that it will probably sound horrible. But hey, at least it's cheap, right? It's cheap, 168 bucks for a fairly decent TKL. It's gonna have QMK on it and potentially VIA, depending on who gets their hands on it. Let's see, let's see what color is available. Silver, black, and gray. This picture is showed this plate mounted because we only made one PC's plate mounted sample. Ah, okay, okay, he's talking about the PCB. Interesting. Designed by the Ido, by the Idobao team. Expiring on July 20th, so that's tomorrow evening. Let's see, shipping 60 to 65 working days, end of September. That's not bad at all. Case material is aluminum. Yep, hot swappable kale. Connection type is USB-C. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, look at that, DHL or FedEx free. So keep in mind, um, do you guys remember my ID80 build? I ordered mine in February and I received it a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, it might not really be 60 to 65 days, it might be closer to 90 to 100 days. Keep that in mind. Let's see, the other board that is ending. Here we go, this one's on drop. Boom. The next board that is ending is the OLKB Plonk for a hundred bucks. This is a board designed by Jack Humbert of QMK fame. I'm sure you've seen all of this before. This board has been around for ages. This one, of course, is the latest and greatest, the V6. It's got hot swaps. Oh, these are all just renders. <laughs> got hot swaps it's got i believe let's see what else is in there oh yeah that's still the low profile case but at least it's usb-c now look at that yellow i think i mentioned before that i really liked the yellow of this case 
I just wish that there were 60% variance in this same yellow. So you've got four days left on this one. This one expires on July 24th. That's, that's this Friday, actually. That is this Friday. So if you guys want, you got all week left in order to decide if you want this. Look, he's even got a little video. What is a Plonk keyboard? Very cool. You notice the plate right here. This is switch top removable. So if you, you know, if you for some reason did not want to just unplug your switch to mod it, you could just remove the top like this. <laughs> Very interesting. Cool beans, cool beans. Fully programmable PCB. Beeps and boops. Oh yeah, it's even got a speaker on it. Cool. So many different colors. Holy crap. High pro, mid pro. <laughs> Very funny. Very cool. Also, this also can possibly come with the key set for additional cost, of course. This one is the OLKB inspired key set. Returns and exchanges, no questions asked. Interesting. Interesting that they mentioned that. Let's see. Mr. Piriluto says, that looks very fresh. Monster Lag says, damn. Thanks for the reminder for Suited Assassin. Completely forgot it. You've got five hours, dude. Zark says, switches can still be solderable. Oh, really? Maybe you can choose which PCB you want. Very nice. Cool beans. I, I played with the Plonk several times, and as a person who's typed on staggered boards all my life i've just never been able to migrate towards an ortho linear layout so this this board is not for me but more power to you if it is all right guess what guys that that's really all the boards that are ending this week <laughs> this is all the boards that is ending this week um out of the three items that i mentioned what are people most interested in once again that would be JTK Suited Assassin, the Idobao ID87 Hot Swap TKL, and the Plonk. See, so someone says, so you don't like Ortholinear? Not that I don't like it, just that I can't ever really type on it. I think the last time I typed on Ortholinear, my WPM was like 20. <laughs> 20 words per minute. Oh wait, I'm just going through my list here. There is one more item that is ending this week. One more item, still also on drop. Here we go. Check that out. If you're looking for stabs, this is the 43 Studio RX78 gold-plated PCB screw-in stabilizers. Yeah, check it out. If you want something blue and red, this might be the one to get. Uh, one of the most important questions, though, is who manufactures it? This is a very important question, because you don't want to get anything that's crap. All that we've been told is that it is custom made in 43 Studio. But not bad for 18 bucks, especially if you get this many. Um, let's see. Do rock as usual, I bet, says Monster Lag. That, that is a very good assumption. They very much look like do rocks. Look at that. Just like, just like taking a quick glance at it. I'm like, yeah, that's very, very similar. But who knows? Who knows? It's the same price as a Duroc. Looks the same as a Duroc. Who knows? But yeah, out of the, I guess it's four items now. Out of the four items that I mentioned, what, what is the audience most interested in getting? Once again, that's JTK Suited Assassin. Idobao ID87 TKL, the OLKB Plonk, or Stabilizers. Stupak already got the JTK. Kajata is doing JTK as well. Very cool. Yeah, I think I might have to hop in on at least the space bars. Scott says stabs of anything. Jank Janky says just save your money. Clean Phil also bought the JTK. Not feeling any of these. The bear took you out. Yeah, the bear took you out last week, huh? 
see to be honest those stabs look super good report back if you do buy them monster lag also got the jtk and hawk 80 subscribed at tier one thank you so very much and i'm realizing when i have my screen showcase like that it's not really that banner is not flying out so sorry about that Let's see stupak says is it controversial that i chose bear without the logo don't know people would say that the logo is very overbearing <laughs> All right, looks like JTK Suited Assassin is the most popular one, at least for the current audience that's watching. Um, yeah, as I said earlier, I will most likely purchase space bars because you can never go wrong with nice ABS space bars. All right, guys, let's talk about group buys that are starting. Whew, we're only 15 minutes in and we're already halfway through the store. I mean, through the show. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hitman choice has got to go. Good night, man. Good night to you, too. Hope everything is going well for you over there in Korea. Did you get the Bear Merlin? I did not. Not. All right. Here. Let's go with the first item on my list. A group buy that is starting on July 22nd. Starting on July 22nd on the Kono store. Boom. Boom. What I'm talking about is, of course, GMK Evil Dolch. If you guys are a fan of the Dolch colorway and would like a little bit more red or would like a little bit more darker tones, perhaps more evil, this might be the set for you. Check it out. GMK Evil Dolch. Basically, we've had modern Dolch, regular Dolch, We've had Yolch, we've had... There, there's been so many. <laughs> there's been so many at this point. Let's see, let's read through his inspiration here. Let's see... Interesting. He wanted to call it Zoom, but then I guess he ended up with Evil Dolch. Thank your lucky star says Goth AF. I can see that. Absolutely, look at this. The core module, basically your typical GMK set. It's got support for full size, 75%, 65, HHKB, Zangan, all of that good stuff. Cool beans. See, novelties, what are the novelties like? Mm, I don't get it. I don't get the novelties. They look a little... I don't think they're unique enough, to be honest. <laughs> Karma says, meaningless set title I've ever seen. Okay, yeah. No thanks on the novelties, I agree. Don't like the emojis? Yeah, I can agree with that. Space bar, okay. Everyone's including that B key now, just because of all the split keyboards. Of course, you have a key set for all the EU folk. And the dust mat. Yeah, this... Okay. I always have to mention this. Um, if you're designing a dust mat, um, try your best not to put the design in the middle. Because a lot of people tend to put their keyboard in the middle. So you would effectively obfuscate whatever design that you put there. So aesthetically, if you were just looking at the dust mat, this looks great. But on its own, like when you're actually using it, you won't see it. You won't see it at all. Let's see what else? Okay, this one is more acceptable. This one kind of looks like. This reminds me of tortoiseshell picks for like guitars, you know? <laughs> Interesting. And apparently there are artisans as well. Cool beans. Of course, the associated cables. And the colors are N9, CR, R01, and WS1. And these are all stock colors. So hopefully it will be cheap. Let's look at the pricing right here. Base kit is going for 130 bucks. 
EU kit, 70 bucks, novelty kit, 52, and space bar is 30. That's actually not, not too bad at all. And yeah, this is the list of vendors. We've got Kono Store here in the US. You got Aramac, MyKeyboard.eu, KBD Fans, Daily Clack, and Me Mechanisk Tast Tastator. <laughs> I did not know that he was starting starting to proxy key sets as well. That's interesting. Very interesting. Let's see. Let's see. Let's check out a couple more vendors. That's on a Fiel. That is on an iron 165, which is what I'm typing on right now. <laughs> All right, what else? On an iron 180, not to be, not, not released yet. On an eclipse, okay. And on a tinned. <laughs> Janky says, no need to flex on us like that. It's my customer's board. <laughs> but to be honest, I think the Iron 165 is probably probably top five boards that I've ever had in my possession. <laughs> Let's see, Sean Buller says, it's kind of like having a design on the weight. I think you're talking about the dust mat. This looks like it should go with Merlot or Pola Langlandia and hang the desk mats on the wall. I am planning on doing that with the GMK Sumi actually. <laughs> Is there an overlap between keyboard enthusiasts and guitar players? Maybe. If someone could make like a keyboard case with the same formula, with the same manufacturing practices as when you make like a guitar body, like with the paint and the lacquer and all that, there might be a small overlap. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. This, this is going to be on Kono, so I'm imagining this is going to last maybe a month, a month and a half, and then delivery will be your typical GMK delivery in these times. Mainly, probably middle to late Q2, possibly early Q3 of, of 2021 but yeah just keep in mind you will see the set next year possibly this time if you join in on this <laughs> cool all right let's see what's next on my list okay that's that's the only key set that's starting this week cool beans all my all my other stuff are keyboards Let's start with the keyboard that is coming out tomorrow. In fact, it actually already came out today, but we'll talk about the ones that are coming out tomorrow. Can you guess what keyboard I'll be talking about? Can you think of a keyboard that's coming out tomorrow? <laughs> there we go, guys. There we go. The keyboard, of course, is the Think 6.5 V2. In fact, the, the LE Limited Edition already came out and sold out about, let's see, was that an hour, hour and a half ago at this point? Yeah, it was the the LE Edition sold for like, a, for like 430, 430. Check it out, check it out. Let's see, and I, and I believe earlier today, there was a build stream as well. Here we go, here we go, oh yeah, here we go. So the LE sold for 449, and the SE, standard edition, is selling tomorrow for 349, and I believe the polycarb is 379. All that information's right there. Very cool, very cool. Think 6.5 V2 package includes all the following 16 gaskets. Oh my word. 1x screwdriver. Interesting. That's funny. I don't think I've ever bought a keyboard which included a screwdriver. <laughs> Very interesting. Look at that. Look at how that board is pieced together. 
see, there's the top half of the case, the gaskets on the plate itself, and then some kind of vibration reduction pad, the PCB, and then a pad on the bottom as well, followed by the bottom case. Very cool. You got quite a few color options available. You got Darth Vader, Snow White, Stormtrooper, Ocean, Valentine, Robocop, Cute Assassin, Deep Ocean, Deadpool, Mecha 01. Which, by the way, there's a GMK Mecha 01 set currently running. Frosted PC, Schrodinger, and High Gloss Chamfer Limited Edition. Very cool. Very cool. Very similar to the Space 65 colors, actually. Let's see. This group buy starts tomorrow and let's see, when when does it end? That is a good question. And is it limited? Timeline, here we go. Detailed below. Starts July 20, 10.30 a.m. EDT will be unlimited in the first 24 hours and a possible cap afterwards. So you know what that means to me? That means it's gonna be up for 10 minutes. <laughs> See, Jackie Reiner says, I'm confused as to what the theme of this board is meant to be. How does thinking relate to an anchor and sailboat? Um, because you have to think about it. <laughs> Christopher says 10 minutes is basically unlimited these days. <laughs> Yeah, not a huge fan of the weight. Um, I am a big fan of 65% with gasket, but I, I skipped out on the Think 6.5 V1 because of all the ostentatious designs, especially especially that weight. Um, I think it's, it's too loud for me. It's not something I am particularly enthralled by. So I skipped out on the V1, and I think I'm going to skip out on the V2 as well. <laughs> but three, 349 that is a very, very good price. I, I anticipate that if you were to buy this and get in and fully build it, people would, people would probably offer up to 1500 for this board. Christopher says you seem like a Vega person. That is correct. The, I, I. I will definitely be buying the Vega. Let's see, which color do I like the most? Um, let's see. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. Um, the color that I like the most is probably going to be the E white, right here, E white and black bottom, or the typical black. You know. Oh, look at that. You got a few extras for sale as well. Oh, that cat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so cute. All right. Look at the layout supported, guys. Okay, you've got your typical 1.25U mods followed by 6.25U spacebar. You've got the 7U support as well. All that good stuff. Let's see, does this board have ESD protection? Mm, I know it's via, via supported, QMK compatible. Oh, there we go. ESD protection. Awesome. I am so glad that people are starting to adopt ESD protection into all of their boards. Very cool. Very cool. So yeah, you guys have starting what? 10, 10 a.m. tomorrow morning? 10 a.m.? EDT or 10.30 a.m. EDT and for 24 hours it'll be unlimited. To, to be honest though, um, every time I see an unlimited group buy of a very hyped up board, I do get a little bit worried simply because logistics is a big problem and you know they've done this before so they have obviously succeeded and I, I I absolutely wish them the best, but an unlimited group buy, if, if 500, 600 people join in on this, 
that's gonna be kind of a problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, best best of luck to Old Cat and Air Potter and the rest of their gang. This is a one of the most hyped up boards of the year, and I'm sure many people will join in. The Janky Render says, U88 took a year. Oof. All right, let's see. The next board on my list starts on the 22nd, Wednesday. Here we go. This is a board that I talked about before, but I guess he pushed it back a bit. This is the Protozoa that's meant for the Discipline 65 or the Mysterium from Cozy Fanatuti. In fact, I have a, a Cozy Fanatuti coaster right there. This is what I use for my coasters. That's CFTKB right there. <laughs> Scott Water says they already did a China group buy. All right, so basically that's gonna be a lot of keyboards. <laughs> All right, back to the protozoa. This is the protozoa. It's basically an a custom case, a fully aluminum case for the, for these DIY kits. So you've got one for the discipline. Basically, it's high profile, very thick aluminum. You can still see all of the components just fine. Same design with the Mysterium, but if you notice, this one, this one looks a little bit off. The screws are all visible from the top, which I'm kind of like, why? Why did you not make it like the same design as the Discipline? <laughs> yeah, here we go. All right, prototypes have arrived. Oh wait, that was, yeah, that, that was on the 17th. Everything is nearly ready for the group buy. Special edition models planned at G GB start. All right. Top mount, spring plate, six degrees, compatible with V1 and V2 Discipline PCBs, custom Torx T6 hardware. You've got navy, volcanic green, black and E-white, MOQ 100 units, 295 bucks for the Discipline. And I think the Mysterium is a little bit more expensive. 350 I was actually talking to a buddy of mine regarding this they're like you know if I if I wanted to buy a custom I would have bought a custom but I bought a discipline I bought a mysterium because I liked the DIY aspect of it I liked the fact that it was very it looked like a kit and it felt like a kit and that's why he bought it you know by taking one of these and putting it into a quote unquote custom case, it kind of robs from that vision, from that aesthetic. So he said that's why he wouldn't be buying this. But I'm like, hmm, I can see that. I, I can absolutely see that reasoning. <laughs> see, Zark says, I'm using my Mysterium right now. Very cool. Wouldn't touch this at all, says Zark. Okay. Hey. There we go, that's another person saying the same thing. Stupox says, show off the hard work you did. Cool. Um, I am undecided about this. I've got a discipline myself and I quite like it. I, I quite like the way that it is. In fact, let me just pull it out right here. Yeah. I. I like the way that it is. This is the aesthetic that I like about it. It's what drew me to it in the first place. <laughs> so I can definitely understand those sentiments, but I also think this is really cool. So who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, this one starts on the 22nd and how long, how long is this going to be up? This is going to be up for... He only lists like the MLQ. Oh, there, there we go. Unlimited group buy. Unlimited group buy. Um, let's see, who is this guy? 
I don't think he's been around for a long time and for someone who's starting out and doing an unlimited group buy, I'm gonna say I'm a tiny bit worried, tiny bit worried about how that might go off. We'll see. Let's see, I see a Zoom Walt has followed. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. All right, next board, next board in the lineup. Here we go. Static H says, yeah, that's a no from me, dog. Let's see, next and I think that's the last one on my list. Here we go. And I'm not even halfway through my drink yet. Oh my gosh. Here we go. The next board is what was formerly known as the Baca 60. It is now the Squid 60 by Chewy. Check it out. Check it out, guys. This is a blockered 60% board. And there we go. The original one was done, I think it was last year. Here we go. It's a 60% WKL aluminum case, seven degree typing angle, brass plate, weight, sandwich mount, Anodized gray and anodized black color color options 5.3 pounds fully built the PCB is able to fit most standard 60s The price is 360 for the case and plate Extra plates are 33 and shipping in the US will be $30. Let's see group buy will go lot this coming Saturday July 25th at 1 p.m. CST Let's see, there will be 70 slots available on a first come first serve basis. Whew, that could, that could be a bloodbath right there. We'll see, <laughs> but check it out. Let's look at all these renders. This is a beautiful board, absolutely beautiful. Personally, I wish it was not just WKL because I'm not a fan of WKL. Squid 60, look at that. See, I see Zoom Bolt is saying, is this the same Merlin that did the brass weights? Yes, that is the same Merlin. That was a, wow, that was a group buy I did a long, long time ago. <laughs> not, not many people know that I did that. <laughs> Squid 60, there we go, look at that. The GMK Mizu. Yeah, this was the Baca 60. Basically the same board, just under a different name. I have a few more renders that are coming in and I'll post them as they come in. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, not bad. I think this is this is great for 360 bucks. So if you're if you were in the US. This would probably net you a total of 360 for the board, $30 for shipping, 390. And um, if you threw in, let's throw in like a Wilbo board, which would be like 85, 90 bucks. This would be a little over $400 for you. Not bad, not bad at all. I see a Mohammed Mahmood 73 has followed. Thank you so much, man. Cool beans. All right, question to the audience. Out of the one, two, three, four, four items that I talked about today that are starting this week, which group buy are you most interested in? Once again, that is GMK Evil Dolch. Think 6.5 V2. The Protozoa 01 or 02 or the Squid 60. Which of these group buys are you most interested in? Let's see, Hawk says Protozoa 02, Stupak says Think, Antrax says he did. Oh, um, Io says Think 6.5 V2, Think 6.5, just bought a Think 6.5 earlier. Lucky dude. Good job on landing in uh, a limited edition one. Convincing myself, no buyer's remorse. Don't feel bad, man. It's a great board. Can Paula says think. 
another thing think say a lot of people are talking about the thing see zoom wall probably devil dolch or evil dolch that don't really like small keyboards scott water is thinking about the think and the squid stupak says oh no dude where's my cat says think 6.5 v2 i guess the think 6.5 v2 is the most popular one Quaint Sam says, I'm super on the fence about the Think 6.5. Why are you on the fence? I'm just curious. Flipping it for two times the price will rid you of any remorse. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. All right. Um. Yeah, that, that's it. This was gonna be a shorter stream tonight just cause we only had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, or eight, eight different things to talk about. All right, guys, this is where I need your help. Did I miss any group buys that are either ending or starting this week? Xandra says, have you heard of the Zodiac 65? No, I have not. What? What is the Zodiac 65? Let me look that up. Zodiac 65 keyboard. I see an IC for it. Dated on November 27th, 2019. Here, let's go. Let's go pop that out. There we go. Zodiac 65%. From a small Vietnamese group. Interesting. That that almost looks like a squid. <laughs> or maybe I'm just like, you know, affected by it because I was just talking about the squid. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, blockered. And there's a there's a logo on top. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Say so people are saying it starts on the twenty second. Very cool. I'll put that in. Looks like it's a spilled honey pot. <laughs> Probably. Look at that. Not bad. Say. So. Oh, there's fifty units only. Interesting. I've never heard of this guy. Hi. Hi, Ingo 1094. Let's see. Angle is 6.5 degrees. Estimated weight is two kilograms. PCB is two options for solderable and hot swap. Type C, fully compatible with QMK. Is there any ESD? Because you know, the latest 65% that just came out all had ESD protection. And this doesn't seem like it's got ESD protection. Yep, no mention of ESD anywhere. Okay, that is a pass for me. <laughs> cool, very cool. These look like they're all just renders for the time being. Okay, no more image there. All the images are gone. What happened? <laughs> See, Scott Water says, drop has the UHMWP stream stems. Crappy business in there by Inver. Zoom Vault says, which GMK set currently in GB do you like the most? I like Hammerhead, but kind of digging Pono. Um, those are the two sets that I like, but in reality, I will probably only stick with Hammerhead. Here we go, let's go look at those inverse stands. Let's see if I can find them. Oh, here they are. Oh yeah, I should probably link that in chat. This was the Zodiac. And now this is the inverse stems. You got five days left apparently. 22 bucks. If you guys don't know what these are, these are super, super smooth stems. Basically, you put them in any housing and it will result in a smoother switch. 
but unfortunately UHM WPE also makes anything you put it in sound worse than stock. Um, I put these in my Satisfaction 75, I put them in an ink housing. Hands down, probably the smoothest Franken switch I have ever made, but I just couldn't get over the sound, which is one reason why I hardly ever used my Satisfaction 75. But yeah, if you don't care about sound and just care about ungodly smoothness, please consider. <laughs> Let's see. Stupox has GMK Sumi, Classic Red, Mecha, some other ones. Um, neither of those are starting and neither of those are ending. Dubs. Dub Sadens is JWK Linear Recolors. Really? Let me look that up. Yeah, I do not allow people to post links on chat because some people can be very naughty with that. And it's happened before. <laughs> Let's see. What are they calling them? These JWK. WK linear V colors. Zoom vault says, You're married. Yes, I am. I look young because I'm Asian. Moss. Okay, let me look for that. Moss switches. The moss switch. Okay, perfect. Thank you. According to my 23andMe results, I am 0.3% North African, 1% Chinese, 0.7% Spanish, <laughs> and 98% Filipino, something like that. <laughs> there we go. I see the Moss Switch Recolor Duroc Linear. Okay, let's take a look at this. Ooh, fancy color. What else? The same smooth Duroc linear many of us know in a pleasant mossy grayish green colorway. Okay, what's the waiting? What is the waiting? Top housing has polycarb as usual. All the same format and look at that. 62, 65, and 67. Um, audience, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first JWK that is coming with the 67G spring. 62s were alpacas, 65s were mobs, what, like 70 something were the H1s, and I think this is the first 67. Let's see, for a pack of 10, that's 580. Price is about 30 cents higher than some other group buys because of UK taxes. Tangies and 62, okay, so I, I don't count tangies because tangies are UHM WPE. I'm talking about like th this kind of combination. Polycarb top and nylon bottom. Soho linear. Yes, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. That's the one. Very cool. Cool beans. Oh yeah, I should probably link this in chat. There we go. If you guys are interested, um, oh, someone just PM'd me. There we go. Actually, yeah, let's use, let's use this one. That one right there. Moss linear switches. You guys got until August 5th to purchase this. Shipping estimated to be November 2020. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very cool. All right. Any other group buys that I may have missed that are ending or starting within the next week? Oh, Dub Sadon. I just noticed it's listed as sold out. <laughs> There is a Deathmatch GB that started today. Oh, really? T 
Key Dream, I see you following. Thanks, man. Thanks for your support. RGB Dustmat tomorrow. All right. Send me the links, guys. Send me the links on a DM. Either here or on Discord. Kever says, did you cover the think? I think so. Dub Sadan says, sold out because it hasn't started yet. Probably. July 22nd is a few days away. All right, looks like it's on TX keyboards, Hex, Z Frontier, Daily Clack, and Protozoa. Right, looks like Dub Sedan sent me another one. What? But what is this? This one is, oh, this is the dust mat. Cool. All right, let's look at this dust mat that people are talking about. It is a dust mat called desk mat. I like it. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Let's see. This one is running from tonight, actually. Tonight, 7 p.m. PST. It's going all the way till August 3rd. Approximate delivery date is September 2020th. Um, I like it. I like it. I'm going to buy a dust mat that's, that's labeled dust mat. <laughs> What's next? A keyboard called keyboard. <laughs> or I challenge someone in the audience right now, make the next GMK key set called GMK key set. <laughs> You're getting that in black. Not bad. 32 Canadian. What's what's 32 Canadian in USD? 32 CAD to USD is roughly $24. Okay. Yeah, I will have to look into this. Let's see, Quaint Safe also sent me something here. Oh, no, wait, it's the same thing. It's also a dust mat. All right. Queen Phil sent me a PM in Discord. Okay. Let me check that really quick. Ooh, okay. More dust mats. More dust mats that are starting. Oh yeah, I should probably link all of these. I keep forgetting to link it into into chat once it's done. There you go, that's it. It's the dust mat called dust mat. And then here is another dust mat, courtesy of Clean Fill. Boom. There we go. This is the TKC and switch keys candy mat RGB. Mm. Let's see. It's very like I I don't know how to describe this, but the, but I don't think I'm a fan. <laughs> but this this apparently starts on July twentieth and closes on August 3rd. Um, seems like we still don't have an exact price for it, but given the recent dust mats that have showed up, I'm expecting anywhere between 18 and $25. Yeah. Cool. Let's see, once again, thank you very much for sending me these links, guys. Cleanfill says more I bet because it's RGB. That's true. Um, think, what did the original novel keys RGB one sell for? I think they were, I think they were like 30 bucks. It's for people who like RGB everywhere. I'm guessing 40 for that one at least. Possibly. I wonder if you could get Via on it. A Via powered dust mat. <laughs> Via powered, QMK enabled. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, any more group buys that I may have missed that are either starting or ending this week? Coin safe says via desmat pog. Yeah. <laughs> Let's 
say. Cool beans. Well, does anyone have any more links or questions about anything I've talked about today on stream? I'll try my best to answer. Let's see, Hawk80 says, Merlin, do you have your eye on any upcoming boards? Um, Not at this point. There was a board that I recently got the iron 165 this one's not mine mine's mine's still not built but i recently got it i think i have reached end game <laughs> as if but yeah uh, right now there is no board out there that i am currently eyeing See, Zoom Walt says, how many boards do you have? Um, I'd say at this point, I'm between 20 and 40 boards. And that's including all of my vintage boards as well. Vintage boards and random projects here and there. <laughs> that's a huge range. Yeah, well, yeah, I've got like so much crap here. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, well, here, let, let me give you a more accurate number. I will count the number of TX bags that I have. How about that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 TX bags. So there's at least 16 keyboards here. <laughs> Static H says, GMK Pono on Dixie. We covered that last week. Zoombot says, your wife is very accommodating. Hey, she, she loves it when I am passionate about stuff. And I love it when she's passionate about stuff too, you know? Got a pile of money in bags alone. <laughs> yeah, I need to sell some of them because there are admittedly boards here that I have not touched in the last... Three months. <laughs> cool. But yeah, out of everything I talked about tonight, the the only thing that really... Mm, the only thing that I was really, really interested in, that I was like, I need to buy this after the stream, would probably the one that I... that was linked to me. This one. This is probably the only thing that I want to buy. <laughs> I want to buy the dust mat labeled dust mat. Zoom out says, I sold seven boards in the last week and a half. I don't regret it. Um, what color? I will probably pick... Um, probably the black, I think. The black. And I... To, I, I am fairly interested in these stabs. Just want to see if they're actually Durox or not. Not sure, I got one day left. Why is Dustmat a registered copyright? <laughs> Why not? Yellow is for Canadians only, FYI. What? What? Really? What if I have it delivered to a Canadian address? I like talk with Zeal. Hey Zeal, can you can you proxy a desk mat for me? <laughs> yeah, I could probably just reach out to Zeal and be like, hey man, can you do this for me? <laughs> Made to look like Canada's no name product. Interesting. That that's not something that I would have like understood right away. So thanks for thanks for letting us know. The warning is funny. <laughs> totally, totally Canadian. Very cool. So. All right, guys, no one's sending me any more links. So yeah, thank you for joining in. Thanks for joining in. Tonight, I talked about quite a few group buys um, due to Twitch terms of service. I can't, ex I, I can't actually post this stream right away. I need to wait at least 24 hours. So by the time you watch this, the Think 6.5 may already be sold out. And, and I apologize for that. 
But yeah, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, all of the links will be down below. Um, I've also linked them in chat if you're still watching this on Twitch. And check out all these group buys. All right, folks, my next stream will be this coming Tuesday. I'll be doing another porting via ports, getting another keyboard into QMK and or via while drinking some form of alcoholic beverage like I am tonight. And guys, check it out. I actually made it through the whole thing. Normally, I finish this by the time I talk about like the second group buy. So yeah. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's see. Zoom Vault says, what is 6.5? This is the Think 6.5 V2 limited edition sold about an hour and a half ago and standard ed edition coming out tomorrow. But yeah, as I said, my next stream will be this coming Tuesday. Um, definitely check that out if you want to learn more about the entire VIA and QMK process. All right, folks, thanks for joining in. Hope you have a good start of your week and I will see you when I see you. See you guys.